Hello guys, I'm Pedrogas and this is my guide on how to show, display your inputs, your controller inputs in OBS while playing on your Xbox One. Sorry, but this doesn't work for 360. It's just for Xbox One, but you can do it with any game that the Xbox One can play. So Halo Reach with the backwards compatibility works. Okay, so once that's said, let's begin with this tutorial. So first of all, we need to actually display our inputs in the stream. So plug your controller to your PC and then head up to gamepadviewer.com. There is multiple ways to do this, just this is the one that I use. Here just move your controller until the, until the web page recognizes it. Choose the player you want to actually be. So for example, player 1 is going to be my 360 controller and player 2 is going to be my Xbox One. So first configure your first controller and choose anything okay you can choose like player one being the 360 and player two being an xbox one controller it doesn't matter so you can choose for multiple multiple skins on this website it doesn't matter it's just the same just the way it is shown so i'm gonna stick with the 360 once you see that everything's right move to this part click on generate link and choose player one and the skin like the page before was just a preview. This is where you actually set up. So now copy that URL and then go to the OBS. This is where we're gonna add some browser sources. So I'm just gonna edit the ones I already have. So this is the Xbox 360 one. So paste the URL, then click on Aceptar, that's Spanish, sorry. And then it is gonna be in recognizing mode. Just move your controller and you it will be recognized. Then go back to uh, the gamepad viewer, choose player 2 and the skin you want for that second controller. Of course, this is just in case you have two controllers, this you can skip it, so don't worry. Just copy and paste the same thing on another browser source. Uh, once it is on recognizing mode, don't move your first controller because if you do it, it will detect like the first control is going to be for the boat layout. So move the second one when it is recognizing it and you will have the separate controllers into different inputs, these players. I really don't know, yeah, but yeah, that's how it works. Now we need to go to the Xbox app for Windows 10. This is necessarily, completely, completely necessarily. It is almost impossible to do this without the the freaking app so go to the streaming part and you will see your xbox one and if you hit here where it says controls you are gonna be able to stream your inputs to the xbox one via the 360 or the xbox one controller or even if you click on those little arrows you know the main problem with this uh, freaking technique is that if you hit b on your controller this window is gonna close so that's not a good thing you know so the way to fix it is to go to this part that says streaming. The problem here is that it is going to go to full size and you are not going to be able to use your screen. So I'm going to recommend you to use a second screen and run this thing there. Also, if you want to stream your inputs, you need to be in focus of the app. Um, be sure to move this to low because we're going to just stream our inputs with no delay we are not playing with this screen we're using our main tv for playing and this is just gonna be for streaming the keystrokes on our controller uh, so yeah as you see there is no delay you can see the outputs uh, over there in my controller so don't worry this doesn't have any any fucking delay so once that's done there's another thing we have to to solve before we finish this video okay Okay guys, so you may notice that when you move everything, you're gonna hear the movement of the Xbox I'm shooting if you're playing. So you need to avoid that because if you have some headset, you're gonna hear that twice, maybe three times. So the way to avoid that noise is in other versions of Windows 10, you need Audio Router to move the Xbox app volume. In the newest version, you have now this option in the default Windows 10 mixer. So if the Xbox app doesn't show up in your mixer, download Audio Router and you're gonna be able to move that. 
so yeah that's the way you fix that audio audio thing and yeah i hope you guys like it i'm petrogas uh, sorry my english is not good but i hope you understand what i said so good night um where is what she bye